You see this strange looking car right here? Well, it's got 800 horsepower. It's faster than a Tesla and it costs $300,000. Why? Well, today I got my hands on the Tango T600. I'm gonna figure out why this thing even exists and if it's worth the quarter million dollar price tag. So do mirrors fit? The car fits. Just sneak into the front here. And I also brought Joby along because it takes two to tango. Welcome to Donut. As much as I love cars, sometimes I need a break from them. And go on a cruise in something a little different. Something like a tank. You can go out joyriding in a tank too, thanks to today's sponsor, War Thunder. The most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Fighting dynamic, combined arms, PvP battles, and more than 2,000 tanks, ships, helicopters, and planes. And every vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, offering a highly immersive combat experience. Ah, fire! You can't do that in a real world station wagon, and I would know, I've tried. Plus, it has one of the most dynamic and detailed vehicle damage models in gaming. No general hit points, just vehicles suffering actual damage. And the collection of vehicles in War Thunder span over 100 years of development, from the 1920s to the present day. Ooh! Plus some good old destruction effects and a rockin' soundscape. So play War Thunder on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, or the previous console generation by using the link in the description below and get a large free bonus pack with multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and much more. Have you ever seen a car birth another car? Not yet. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> so what the heck is a Tango T600? This is an American-made electric car that came out in 2005 three years before the Tesla Roadster. The goal of this car was to be super safe, handle like a race car, and reduce traffic by being super small. Let's take a look at the Tango, huh? Oh my God, <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this thing. Yeah, well this is like a race car. I mean, this thing's like gotta be fast, right? The company that makes it is called Commuter Cars, and its founder invested millions of dollars into making this car become a reality. And people have bought them too, Silicon Valley executives and even George Clooney. Clearly, it's goofy looking, but I wanna know, is it actually any good? Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds, 39 inches wide, weighs 3,326 pounds, same as a Toyota Camry. Okay. Over 2,000 pounds under the floor, so super low center of gravity. You wanna see where you can rock it? Said 56 degrees it takes before it'll tip over. Yeah. We're not even coming close. Yeah, and I'm shaking it pretty hard. Oh, dude, we're gonna be flying like, wow. like Maverick and Goose. I love the layout, yeah, wow. very fighter jet. We're gonna buzz the tower. Dude, look at the dash, this is a this is a race car. Motec the display. Momo steering wheel, Sparco yeah. seats. So, oh, wow, Reta retractable uh, harnesses, that's pretty cool. Nice. Got an Alpine head unit. And look at the like roll bar, it's all nicely covered. Yeah, I didn't even see this. Okay, so apparently it doesn't have power steering, doesn't have power brakes. Well, power brakes, I think it, you would want, but power steering, I mean, geez, I feel like you could turn this no problem. Yeah. If you're curious why this feels like a Frankenstein of other car parts, that's because it is. Making a low production car is extremely hard and expensive. So a lot of parts had to come from other manufacturers assembly lines. There we go. It's interesting to, to try to like decipher where he pulled certain things from, right? Like the headlights, I'm not sure exactly what they came out of, but it's a Chrysler. The taillights, same thing. I don't know what they came out of, but it's definitely some production car. Yeah. We've got a Pontiac key. Here. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the Miata like door card bits. Cadillac CTS steering column. It's like a mishmash of parts. Yeah. Yeah, I really wonder if these like doors are bespoke or if they're from something else. Yeah, originally. I don't know. Now, apparently, depending on your gear ratio, this thing theoretically could go 176 <laughs> miles an hour. I don't wanna. Well, let's get it out on the road, see how she drives, shall we? I can't open my cup holder anymore. There, you're so far back. <laughs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. <laughs> I don't know, Joe. This thing's leaning Help! way more than. Help! <laughs> uh, Joe, I think I'm gonna do a launch. Okay. You want to try it? 
Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! I have truly never been more cramped in a vehicle. <laughs> I think I might survive anything but a front end collision. <laughs> It feels like I'm in a like a NHRA drag car. I'm like, I am in here. It feels like a race car because it's literally built like one. The roll cage meets NASCAR's specification and the company claims it's the world's safest car. One thing the guy mentioned that's pretty interesting is, so these are DC motors, right? Yeah. So direct current, it's putting out 3,000 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty insane if you think about that. 3,000? Yeah, which is pretty nuts. Once you get past 60 miles per hour, there's a controller in here that switches from uh, series voltage to parallel. So you get twice as much current at the same voltage when you switch over to whatever parallel system they have. All right, here we go. Hit it. Oh! Whoa, was that the shift? So that's the shift. So that's the shift from... I can see why he warned us about Yeah, that. series to parallel. Yeah, it's loud back here. <laughs> It's like screaming at me. Yeah. <laughs> the switch from series to parallel <laughs> is, is very... Hello! <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> the attention. <laughs> yeah, the attention's very fun. Driving around Sacramento in this thing? Yeah, what we do need you think? To... I'm thinking it's all right. You know? That is loud right there. Could this be the only car you own? Absolutely not. No way. All right, here we go. We're going to lane split. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, my you God. Look at us I know. No one wants to look at us. Isn't it funny? The first six figure car I've driven on Donut is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yeah, you got that? <laughs> you way got that. Listen, your mirrors are the <laughs> widest part. So if your mirrors fit, the car fits. It's like a cat and it's whiskers, dude. If the whiskers go, the body goes. Excuse me, excuse me, thanks. Excuse me. Pardon us, pardon us. We're just sneak into the front here. This is hilarious. Should we go to a drive-through? Sure, I'm hungry. Can I have two junior roast beefs? Thanks, man. All right, thank you, have a good day. Here you go. This is hilariously cramped. I feel like I'm eating like in a suitcase. You know what though? Bill, I'll say this. Well, the fact that anyone goes out there. Oh, 100%. Takes their own money, mm -hmm. their own time. Follows their dream. Follows their dream and makes something. Yeah. It's just impressive in I love itself. It. This took a lot of hard work mm -hmm. to do. And if we're being honest, the inside is nicer than some other cars that are off the showroom floor That's true. right now. That's true. And you know what? We're driving some guy's dream. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Now, apparently, this thing can go 100 miles at 70 miles per hour. That's pretty good range. Should we do a quick lane maneuver? Yeah, sure. Woo! Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You gotta make your own way. Can I park this thing here, you think? Uh, <laughs> maybe. I won't, I'll park it in a space. All right, now do the loop and park in between these two cars. Which, which two cars? Turn right. Okay. Oh, I got plenty of space. Yeah. I tell you. All right, pull me out the window. Let's Pop see. that hat, let's see if your stuff is in there. Here, let me get in the back seat and see if you can just put it all in the on me. Okay, there's one. Okay. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get in either. Hey Tesla, don't you wish you were as cool as me? <laughs> I'm gonna give Job a little acceleration test. So what do you think? You think this thing's worth six figures? No. <laughs> Clearly $300,000 is too much money for this car, but it costs that much because the car never made it to full scale production. 
which is how car makers make most cars so cheap. The Tango might not be the most practical car, but you gotta respect the one guy that started his own car company to sell his dream car. And the thing is absolutely ridiculous to drive. Bye for now.